So I recently got the uh, the Chaos Batumi, and um, I was getting a little bored with it, but then I got the Expert Firmware. And while I am no expert, I can tell you it really makes um, the module a lot more dynamic, a lot more interesting. There's randomization, uh, there's relative kind of summation of LFOs onto one LFO. And for now what I'm going to do is I'm only going to ex explain the, uh, the quad mode or the new quad mode. Now if you want to upload the expert firmware, um, you have to go on GitHub. Chaos has taken it off their website because people were downloading it and not reading the manual and not doing the research and driving them crazy with questions and I can totally understand that. But here what I'm doing is I'm in the new quad mode and if you just to show you I'm in the new quad mode now unfortunately there's really no way to kind of let you know whether you're in the new quad mode or the old quad mode but what I can tell you is that if you press this button hold it get that little animation I'm in the old quad mode and now I'm in the new quad mode and what happens here is that uh, sliders 2, 3, and 4 um, kind of change the uh, or, or rather one is summing or doing some kind of logistical crazy voodoo modular shit which is why we do this stuff instead of buying normal synthesizers it's basically number one is taking kind of summations of these and making a relative kind of I guess rhythm or rather LFO out of it um, and then what I'm doing is I'm taking the main one which is the first one which is getting those relative uh, kind of making taking all of two, three, and fours information, kind of jumbling it up, making its own LFO stew out of it. Uh, and what I'm doing is, recently I found out through Noise Engineering's uh, blog that you can control on the, uh, I guess it's the N, X, and Y, these are CV, and via amount of CV you can control position. So right here I'm just controlling uh, my X, but you know, there's a blog post there where they do this crazy stuff. Um, but, well, you can, we're not talking about the mimetic, mimetic digitalis, but what I can do is with this kind of randomized, or not randomized, a relative LFO pattern, I can kind of control this. And as I control these sliders, it changes this pattern. And then I have, uh, you know, my th these also output. They don't output this kind of relative stew that this one has. They all have their own kind of separate ones. But um, I'm using that to affect my pulse width and my type of my MCO. And then I have another CV output going to the Bacillimus Iteritas Alter, uh, which is playing something different, but I'm kind of just using it as a percussion module. So I'm just gonna kind of turn this up and show you how you can use the Batumi as kind of a crazy CV step sequencer with the Bimetic Digitalis and do some really interesting things. And of course the trigger is going to my Pons Asinorum, which is controlling my VCA and my Mom 8 and yada yada yada. So here we go. So that step pattern is, is just coming out of this first Thing. And now see what happens when I kind of change that relative stew here. Let's try another slider, which is going to affect this. As you can see, the first slider is just um, affecting the speed of the LFO, and these are affecting that relative situation, so 
this is kind of how I'm trying to come to understand the uh, the Batumi um, expert firmware. There's also a bunch of other stuff that it does, but in this particular thing, this is just kind of showing you how you can use that new quad mode to do, um, you know, kind of unique CV step sequencing with the Medic Digitalis. And of course, I'm sure there's a billion other ways that you can figure out how to do something. So thanks for watching. Hope you learned something today and have a great one.